as the Emperor's spies told him. Ciri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Marigold. Oniromancers, or dreamers as they are more commonly called, possess the ability, to their their name implies, to divine... I don't know how... I completely lost my mind there. I was like, I was expecting the phrase to be, possess the ability to do something, because that's like, what do you expect the structure of the sentence to be like? So it completely threw me off when they went a different way with that. Uh, possess the ability their name implies, to divine... The future or relive, relive the past through dreams. Corinne was one of the best of her kind that had no trouble finding clients, even though, even with the hostility to the occult that reigned in Novigrad at the time. Geralt hoped she would spare him a few moments and sent, uh, set off to find her in a house where she had gone to ply her trade. So to reca recap, we arrived in Novigrad finally, trying to find Triss because she might help us be able to find help us find Siri because she's a good contact in a big open area that otherwise we have very little ability to uh, safely and con and concisely explore. I have like 30 weight left. I can probably run around and care and grab stuff. Uh, so we came here to have Triss help us find Siri potentially, and we had to help Siri with the fact that the uh, the locals are crazy and hate mages. I mean sorceresses. And uh, we're happy to trick her into a trap already. We helped her out with that, and then she gave us a tip of who she thinks might be able to help us. And that's why I'm looking for this dreamer around here. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareen Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Kareen is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night. And furniture moving about in the attic. And last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. You sure someone didn't just move into your house? Anyway, if it's a genuine extra not extraterrestrial, but a, a supernatural disturbance, I might be someone that could help with that. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that my whim. Oh. The second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. God damn it. <laughs> I was literally just about to say, wow, someone who actually understands the whole twin sword thing and what's going on there. Because, of course, witchers have twin swords. One for fighting humans and doing general survival the way that every other human has swords for. And then a silver sword for beast hunting. And I was like, oh, clearly he understands what I'm doing here. We're already dependent on the black ones, economically. Then he came out and said generic banter that everyone says. It's really a bummer how every time I talk to someone... It seems like every time I talk to a quest NPC, they immediately say random dialogue that's probably just crowd dialogue, not even related to them particularly. And it always, like, messes up the, uh... It always kind of contradicts what's going on in the scene. Alright, let's take a look in here. Candelabrum, perfume and grapes. Ooh, silver. Oh, fuck it, it's all mine. Ha ha ha! I'm mad with power. Why do people let me in their houses? This is a really big mistake on their part. Man, so much dumb stuff to sell or break down into, into chunks of silver. Go away! Don't do that. Leave 
move it. She up here being all weird. By the way, that person was keeping cow's milk in their uh, in, a, in a chest. I don't think I don't think it keeps very long if in that condition. Just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. All right. Time to check the attic. Stop. Go away. Don't do that. Leave it. Every time I have a problem, it inevitably leads to me going off into crazy locations and fighting crazy monsters. How do normal people solve their problems in this universe? Wow, more cow's milk in a box. Uh, all this guy's stuff are belong to me. I can't, I can't pick up the box. I mean, the the book. I was kind of hoping that the book would be useful. That's blood! Don't spill it, please. Part of me just wants to see an NPC acknowledge the fact that I've robbed their entire house. Oh well. RPGs. Stop. Go away. Don't do that. Leave it. This does not look like it's going to take me to the attic. More cow's milk. This guy takes has a concerning amount of cow's milk everywhere. It has to all be bad, right? It's just sitting in weird boxes everywhere. Honeycomb. See the honeycomb, that'll last longer cuz honey I think it does in fact spoil, but it's harder. Down, it definitely takes a long ass time. Blood. Don't spill it. Please. I think even when honey starts going bad, all you really have to do is like rehydrate it or something like that. I don't know. Don't actually spend much time with honey. This could be some this could this could be some bullshit I picked up on the internet. Oh no! I pressed circle to, to climb ladders faster because of all the Souls games I'm playing. Nope. Oh, well, one of these things is glowing. Next room's blocked. How will I ever get in there? I can't imagine. Uh, sorry. This is called property damage. So on top of stealing everything, I was gonna say I was an arson, but I didn't burn it, I guess. No, not the candles, damn it. There we go. How am I doing on weight? Only 104, I could steal this shit all day. Howdy, y'all. There's a creepy doll over there. We'll save that for last. What's in the chest? Water, that's, yeah, that's a big dramatic chest that I would totally expect to find just water in. I'm totally on board with all the, uh, the silver I'm getting. Novigrad Dreaming. Examine the drawing. Oh, I picked up a drawing. <laughs> Let's take a look at that in a second, and this doll. So we have a drawing and a doll to look at. Okay. Quest stuff. Probably gonna be over in the quest category. Drawing of a crib. Paper on which a crib has been hastily drawn by a child, it seems. Or just someone who's very bad at drawing. I, I would draw something that looks rough like that if I tried to draw a, cr a crib. Ragdoll needed to complete a quest. Nothing to investigate there, just something I have to pick up. There was a cradle on the second floor. Wonder what would happen if I laid a doll in it. <laughs> I love his approach to ghost hunting. He's like, let's just stick the thing in the thing and see what happens. It's fun. Yay. I, You sit tight, lady. Oh. Or, or is that where the crib was? I do not remember. The answer is yes. <laughs> so what was with the spirit we saw earlier? Is that going to be something similar to the... Uh, oh, there's a note here. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. I wonder if that little kid we found, we saw, this little spirit character, not spirit, but uh, the weird creature. Ah, I forgot exactly what they're called. I wonder, is, it the, is that the same type of creature we met? 
In Crookback Bog, or is it another species? I just rolled down these stairs, because apparently I don't know how to use stairs. Uh, I'm curious. Because he looked like the guy from Crookback Bog. Probably not the same one, exactly. But, uh, when we met that guy, Geralt made it clear that, uh, he was like, are you this? That? And then he, he said, like, this, his third thing, and the character finally nodded. So it could be a type of creature that's easily confused with a bunch of other creatures. I think I have to go into this basement. Because I don't see a lot of other things to go with here. Uh, the symbol's over here. Is there an oven right here? There's a thing saying burn me, but it's on the other side of the wall. Let's check the basement. Be a weird place to keep, it might be a weird place to keep an oven. Ow. Ow. Hey, destructible wall. Get out of here. Your dumb destructibleness. Yeah, that looks safe. And there's the oven, I'm, I assume. Bread. Wire. Let's take a look at the little side area first. What's in here? It's a whole crazy, cre creepy ruin. This is where your this is where your ghost problem's coming from. Iron ore, hide, assassin's boots. I've gotten the entire assassin set at this point. Maybe even multiple times over. Is there a whole cave down here, or just this little area? Lots of Redanian stuff. Alright. These are resources I can do something with. Let's get back to that oven, though. Hello, oven. Boo! Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? Can tell you were scared. <laughs> Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. The way you play, well, it's only ever fun for you. That's because you're a dullard. All you humans are dullards. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> The house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers. Especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily. Which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes! 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. That's right. That's the right way to play Geralt. Kind of, kind of selfish and kind of nice at the same time. Just get solving the problem just enough to, to move forward with what I need to deal with. And not necessarily saving everyone's goddamn issues all at the same time. I'm no Paragon Shepherd. Hi, right, lady. I'm gonna shine this creepy torch in your face now. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. 
But in the dream, well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Looking for a change of scenery. At least I lit up those candles for a little bit of, bit of mood lighting for the conversation, because this is a dark, dank-ass house. Alright, now that I've taken everything this guy owns, and not solved his problem, but hey, I got the girl out at least, so... You know, I can feel good about the fact that I'm progressing. He's screwed, though. Forgot that guy. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. See, he'll figure out what to do. He's a rich banker-type dude. He'll figure it out. Like, he, he even himself, he's like, ah, well, that was expensive. But, like, not the way that it's like, I am in crippling debt now. My life is over the way it would be if this happened to me. It's more like, it's like, ah, well, that was, that's a bummer. It's basically as far as his feeling goes. I guess I'll buy a new one, and I guess I'll save for a bit. I don't know. If he, if he, if he can figure out the problem, that's up to him. I'm not really feeling like ev evicting random playful spirits that are being slightly dickish. Help some fellas out, master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher ain't you. We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witchers are not. Old villagers pitch in. Lords out with their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the wish you're for, anyways? It's to help men in need. You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well, how long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. A home we will go. Yay! I peacefully sent the drunks home. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass later. Hopefully... I figure you either give them money or you pass on it, and if you don't give them money, they probably like, hey, that's a witcher, and they'd probably turn me in and go after me later. But I'm hoping the mind control keeps my money and keeps them from going after me later. Maybe. Also, whenever I get the mind control option, I just really like having that option. I invested in that at the beginning of the game for a reason. You're not who I'm talking to. Oh, she's downstairs, probably. Oh, she's upstairs. That's a big area to explore. Alright. Corrine! I helped you return the favor time. There you are. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. We must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. 
Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Dude, you just put your stank-ass gauntlet all, or glove all over her cards. That's just rude. That is a lack of situational awareness. I, I find out that she's all like, Hey, I, uh... She's making a point to say that she doesn't dream the, herself. She pulls the dreams out of other people. But, like, she was just sitting around alone in a house dreaming. Isn't that kind of contradicting that? Let's see. I remember when she, we first met. I trained her at Kaer Morin. Saved her life once, and she was there when I died. Right. Because in the, orig the original uh, Witcher books end with, uh, I believe, I believe it's Geralt is with Yennefer and Ciri, I think. And he gets killed by, uh, like, a, a horde of, like, townspeople, basically, for being a Witcher. I think he, t he tries to, to, he tries to stop a great cruelty that's happening and kind of fails. And I think that's just where the book ends. And the Witcher video game series takes place after that. Geralt's alive again, but he doesn't have the memory of what happened for the first two games. The first two games he spends not remembering Ciri and Yennefer. So the, the whole point of this game is that he suddenly remembers his past from the books. And we're following up on that. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. Is there anything you'd like to add? Another memory, perhaps? Yes, there's something else. All right. Tell me no more than you wish to. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I have more to say. Then please do. Ciri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later... I was in the Broccolon forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion, they failed in her case. Ciri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them.
They call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <sighs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. Know when a legend transforms into prophecy? When it gains believers? I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the Rosemary and Time in their will. The Rosemary and Time? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Huh. I frankly just wanted to take a quick look because I was wondering who the hell uh, Dandelion is. Who's suppo I've heard From a comment, I've heard that he supposedly is writing all of these character bios that we're getting. So I wanted to get a closer look at that. Corinne Tilly. Oni Romancy? Is own Oniromancy. I don't know, man. Oniromancy, the magical art of deciphering the past and the future as they appear in dreams, is difficult for even a highly trained sorceress to master. Those born with the talent, however, excel at it without any formal education. Such was the case of Corinne Tilly, whose fame as a dreamer, as such diviners are known, had spread far and wide. 
This gifted woman could not only dream of past events herself, but also induce rev uh, revelatory dreams in persons searching for direction or answers to specific questions. Th th these abilities proved to be of great use to Geralt in his search. Apparently, they turn. Apparently, that means that she gave me great information. If I'm already all set to get in and out, no big deal. Hey, Novigrad dreaming complete. Now it's time for broken flowers. Yes. She doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Okay. You have any? In, you have any significant documents around here? The door was open the whole time. Do you have any sense of privacy, woman? I was pouring my heart out there, lady. I just slammed it open the other way. Whoops. Any cool stuff in here? Water. Just looting your house, I hope you don't mind. Wee. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Uh, where does this go to? Over here. Whole other room? With no one guarding it? That's like my favorite kind of room. Alright, well. Cow's milk, wire, bread, alchemy paste. These are all the things that are good to have in a balanced breakfast for your backpack. What? <laughs> Let's see, and... Any... Oh, there's goddamn books. Let's see. Oh, a runestone. That's a big deal. It's actually worth something. Oh, there's a whole second floor that I accidentally got on ladder for. No! Ladder, why? I think this game should prioritize loot over literally everything else if it's trying to pick which thing to interact with in your environment. Ow. I guess that I should expect... I should expect to get hurt if I'm gonna drop, like, eight feet at once. There... What's that? Just another little thing. Alright, now that I've wasted your time by looting everything. <laughs> this is actually probably going to be it for the first for this episode, guys. I don't know why I said the first one. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like always, I'll see you next time. As we go to the Rosemary in Time. And attempt to go find Mr. Uh... Wow, what was his name? Mr. Dandelion. There we go.